Okay, we are going to study current division rule, which is very important in electrical circuit analysis. Okay, so let us have the derivation or uh, have the discussion uh, with a simple circuit. Okay, so this is the voltage source V S connected to a parallel combination of two branches having resistors R one, R two. So this is R one, this is R two. Now. the current which is coming out from a source let it be it total current and it is traveling in this way and at this point it is dividing into two parts so because is the first branch let it be i1 second branch let it be i2 okay so now we are trying to uh, write the current relations i1 i2 okay so before that uh, the r1 r2 are connected in parallel so the total resistance will be r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so instead of having these two resistors that can be replaced by a single resistor so if we do so the circuit seems to be somewhat like this so this is vs total current it and total resistance rt Okay, so now according to Ohm's law, at constant temperature, V is equal to I R is the formula. Now uh, we are applying that same Ohm's law for this circuit. So instead of V, what we are having V S. Instead of I, we are having I T. Instead of R, we are having R T. So call it as equation one. Okay, so now let's get back to the original circuit. So in this circuit, let us try to write the relation for I one. So, what is I one? I is from this Ohm's law. V by R is the formula. So now, because all the branches are connected in parallel, the voltage will be same for all the branches. That means the voltage will appear. V S will appear across R one and also appears across R two. Okay, so same voltage will be appeared. So now, according to Ohm's law, I equal to what V by R. So here, voltage is V S and the first branch resistance is R one. Call it as two. similarly i2 i2 equal to what vs by r2 okay so third equation now what we are trying to do we are trying to uh, write the relation for i1 okay so we already got the relation but what is the fun uh, writing that equations uh, writing that equation some people may ask so because we are trying to write the relation for current without using voltage okay so let us see how that can be okay so starting from the second equation so i1 equal to vs vs instead of vs what we can write it into rt we may write by r1 will be same but what is rt that is r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so therefore here keep it it a separate term so this is r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 into this will be 1 by r1 so r1 gets cancelled what is the leftover portion for i1 so i1 equal to it into r2 by r1 plus r2 this is current division rule in this relation you can observe there is no any kind of uh, voltage term so without using any kind of voltage you can actually find the branch current that is i1 okay so similarly the same thing can be uh, done with the help of i2 also so like that uh, instead of vs it into rt by r2 this is it into rt will be r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 into 1 by r2 r2 gets cancelled so what is the left over this is i sorry Uh, I one equal to I T into R one by R one plus R. Okay, so this is also current division rule. So we will see uh, what is the pattern behind this relation. Okay, so I one I one is a first branch current, which is equal to what is the relation that you got total current. So total current into 
opposite branch resistance that is R2 divided by sum of the opposite branch resistances. The same pattern can be observed in the second relation also. So, this is what I1, sorry, this is I2, okay. So, this is I2, no, so I2. So, I2 equal to what? Total current into, okay. So, this is I2. Opposite branch resistance is R1, okay. So, this is R1 divided by sum of the opposite branch resistances, okay. So, suppose uh, if you are having a circuit like this. Okay, so uh, if you are asked to calculate uh, the current uh, in this branch using current division rule. So, how you do? Okay, so suppose this is Vs, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ohm. You are supposed to find the current that is flowing in 6 ohm resistor using current division rule. Okay, so here you need to apply a different uh, strategy. Okay, so how these two are connected with each other? Series. So 5 plus 6, 11 ohms. That is in parallel with 4. That is in series with 3. That is in parallel with 2, series with 1. Okay, so if we do so, you will be getting some total resistance. That is 6 uh, series with 5, parallel with 4. That is series with 3. Okay, so that entire combination is in parallel with 2. This entire combination is in series with 1. Okay. So, some x ohms you are getting. Right. So, the circuit uh, seems to be somewhat like this. Okay. This is x ohms. This is Vs. And this is, let it be, It. Okay. So, that means this is the current. No. It. Now, what I am doing I am doing in a trickier way. So, this is Vs. This is 1 ohm. This is 2 ohm. I am just calculating this total resistance. What is that? 5 plus 6 parallel with 4 series with 3. Okay. So, that combination let it be like this. Okay. This is, this is what? 5 plus 6. Okay. Parallel with 4. Next series with 3. This combination. Clear? So 5 plus 6 series. That combination is in parallel with 4. That entire combination is in series with 3. So you will be getting some Y ohms. Now you apply current division rule and try to find suppose this one as Ix. Let it be Ix. Okay? Or else you take Ia because X term uh, we have used here, no? So, you may get confused. So, Ia. So, now how you get Ia? How you get Ia? So, this is a It, right? So, you got the uh, value for It. So, It will be Vs. So, Vs let it be 10 ohms. Okay? So, then it will be 10 by this whatever the resistance may be you will be getting here. So, that you will get It. So, you are aware of It. It into opposite branch resistance. What is the opposite? You are finding this current, no? So, opposite branch means this one. So, this is 2 divided by sum of the opposite branch resistances. 2 plus y. Clear? So, you will be getting Ia. Again, you split this into original state. So, uh, I am writing in this way, It. So, this branch, so this part will be Ia. Okay? So, this entire resistance. Okay, so you will be solved, no? So, in this way, the current which is coming out is Ia. Okay, so now what is happening? This Ia is traveling here and at this point it is dividing. Okay, so for these two branches, so this is one branch and this is another branch. So, for these two branches, Ia is the total current. Now, you are supposed to find, let it be Ib. Okay, you are supposed to find Ib. So, how you calculate Ib? Ib equal to what? Total current. Now, you are not supposed to have this It. 
but you are supposed to write IA because this is the current which is dividing at this point. Clear? So now this is what IA. IA is the total current for these two branches. IA into opposite branch. So for this branch, opposite is 4. So 4 divided by sum of the opposite branch resistances. So this branch is, resistance is what? 4 plus this branch is having two resistors and they are connected in series. So this will be 5 plus 6. So you will be getting the value for IB. So that is the um, way you are supposed to find the current through 6 ohm resistor using current division rule. I hope you understand.